Hello. It's been a very interesting time. I have just uh, used some very powerful Vortex Healing Magic to help support the success and growth of my business. I have opened up what is called a Divine Door. It's a very powerful uh, magic uh, technique where it's, it's a little different from a portal because a portal kind of like brings the essence of a uh, certain dimension into a uh, into a place. That's, well, at least in terms of vortex healing. But this is much more powerful where with the breathing, a very powerful divine healing Shakti, a door is opened from divine uh, consciousness. A door is opened from a divine realm and it shines that light and divinity and grace into a situation, into a person, into a place of consciousness, or even to a place. But for this, I opened up a divine door to help move the, what is called the karmic, karma of events. That is kind of getting in the way of success in my business. And oh, oh boy, this has been a very challenging time because this is a very t challenging time in which I must confront that the old energies aren't working. The old energies aren't working, the old way of thinking, the old, ang the old fears, the old doubts, the old wounds that get in my way. Uh, let's say the divine consciousness of Merlin has upped the ante and said, whatever has been neglected now must be confronted before you move forward. And the thing is, uh, I, with all the <laughs> well, tons of vortex healing I've been doing on myself, I did open two divine doors into the issue of success in my business and they weren't exactly working the way I was hoping. And so I had to turn to uh, one of my vortex healing teachers, Anthony Gorman, who created the, co the concept of the divine door to help me out. And he sensed into the divine doors in which I had opened. And he says, well, they're open, they're working and they're in their own way, but they are not exactly confronting the main issue, which is, he said, a certain karma of events which are playing a part in what is blocking my business. And all of this is so very humbling. So, and this is, I think, such an important aspect for people on the, who are growing spiritually, and, but it's also for people who are practicing magic. Uh, the best way to grow in the power of your magic is to always humble yourself to make sure that your ego is out of the equation. Like, oh, I am the most powerful, I've reached the most powerful place. No, no, the divine will always, <laughs> the divine will always say, no, growth is infinite. And uh, I, I was taught a very powerful lesson that even with uh, a very powerful divine healing techniques, uh, it's always so important to put your ego aside, ask for help, ask for help from your teachers and continue to surrender. Continue to surrender up your ego, continue to surrender up your fears and your resistance. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going through a very hard time right now, but we, we must have faith. And the best advice I can give is to whatever healing technique or ritual you know to help release the old, to release the old pains, do that. Keep releasing the old whether it's healing from your heart or just releasing, you know, old negative energies from your apartment or your home, do that. All right, we're all going through a rather hard time now. So let's start cleaning house as it were. That's what I'm doing and I shall continue to do it humbly from a place of grace. Blessings to you.